Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve quadratic equations by the square root property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Okay. So what is the square root property here? With the x squared term isolated, the square root property states that if x squared equals k, then x equals plus or minus the square root of k, okay? Where k is a non-zero real number. All right, so let's go dive in with an example here, example six of using the square root property. Let's say we have this, x squared equals eight, okay? Well, our square root property states that we can take the square root, really, of both sides, giving us x equals plus or minus the square root of eight, okay? And then now we need to simplify still. Square root of eight is two square root of two. So x equals plus or minus two square root of two. So our two values, remember that plus or minus here is both individually. We can say our two solutions are x equals two square root of two and a negative two square root of two. All right, let's go try another example here. Let's say we have a, a quadratic. 4x squared plus 1 equals 7. All right. Well, our first step, right, we can't just dive right in. We have to subtract a 1 on both sides. That gives us 4x squared equals 7 minus 1, which is 6. We then still have to get x squared by itself here. So we divide both sides by 4. And we have x squared equals 6 divided by 4. Okay. So we have 6 over 4 here. All right. Now, sometimes it's not necessarily you need to simplify right away. You'll see in a moment here. When I take a square root of both sides, I'm left with x equals plus or minus the square root of 6 fourth. And that's where we're applying the square root property. From there, we can take a square root of the numerator and denominator individually. So x equals plus or minus square root of 6 for the numerator. Denominator, square root of 4, is just 2. Okay? And now we're kind of done. We have our two values. x equals a square root 6 over 2 and a negative square root of 6 over 2. Again, that's what that plus and minus means. So I hope you learned something here and learned how to use the square root property here to solve quadratic equations. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.